today on Invest on Trade Africa. Getting ready to dominate globally, Angola expands storage capacity for refined products. It is no longer a secret that Angola's downstream segment is poised for rapid expansion fueled by new refineries being built and developed. This expansion, witnessed in Angola's downstream segment, is a result of the government's multi-year strategy aiming to reduce the reliance on imports and establish an integrated sector from exploration and production to refining. The country has already expanded its Luanda refinery while building three new refining facilities with the private sector at Cabinda, Soyo, and Lobito. A combined 200,000 liters per day capacity is the expected output. So what happens when you have so much refined products? You're going to need somewhere to store it all. I'm here at Bengal to see firsthand the Terminal Oceanic de Baradandi being built to fill the gap. Eu fugi tuas palavras mais bonita, achando eu que não era um The Terminal Oceanico de Barra de Dandi is a massive step forward for Angola's downstream sector. The idea here is to turn this terminal into the country's main platform for the receiving, storage and distribution of petroleum products. The terminal is being developed in phases and at a cost of $500 million ultimately, targeting the construction and installation of 29 storage tanks connected to maritime infrastructure, such as breakwater, berths, and unloading lines. Located 60 kilometers north of the Angolan capital, Luanda, it will store 500,000 cubic meters of gasoline and diesel and 102,000 cubic meters of LPG. The project fully integrates with Angola's vision to expand downstream infrastructure. And once commissioned, this facility will be storing the surplus petroleum products that can be exported by pipeline or ship to regional and global markets. Upon completion of the refineries and storage facility, Angola will have multiplied its refining capacity by up to nine times and will be one of Sub-Saharan Africa's biggest refining hubs. What is the installed capacity for this project? The total install capacity of the project is something like 580,000 uh, cubic meters of uh, street products. We have uh, gasoline, we have gas oil, which is diesel, and we have LPG, which is gas. For the gasoline, um, we have a total capacity of 160,000 um, cubic meters um, distributed in eight tanks. For the diesel, we have uh, a total capacity of 320 meters distributed in eight tanks as well. And we have, for the LPG, we have 102 uh, cubic meter distributed in 34 um, bullets. Okay. And how soon are we going to have this project ready? Uh, we aim and we are doing everything to get it done before the first quarter of 2024. And we will do it. As Angola ramps up its refining capacity, there are concerns that transitioning to renewables is not really on the front burner. 
and cleaner energy sources on a large scale may yet be in the distant future. There are those who share the view that a low-carbon transition is possible in fossil fuel producing and mineral-rich economies without compromising on their development ambitions and that a just transition is not only possible, but possible now. While I was with the Minister of Mineral Resources, Petroleum and Gas, I asked him what exactly are Angolan's plans for a just transition. We consider this, that resource is very important for our people, for development of our countries, and uh, to create uh, a better uh, condition for, for better quality of life of our people. So we, 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 we think uh, only a just energy transition, an energy transition that will help the, the, the African people to, to have more access of electricity, better housing, more and better schools and health system. We need to do all, all these resources to help us uh, achieving better indicators for, for our countries. And the most important, as I said, is that uh, the other developed countries respect us so, uh, that uh, we have all the that needs. And uh, if they respect it, we can work together. Uh, uh, as you as I said before, uh, we advocate uh, a balance between the need to exploit the resources and to, 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 to uh, observe the, the climate change issues. Thanks for watching. You can keep up with Invest and Trade Africa on all our social channels. 